हेलो गाइस, दिस इज डॉक्टर शिवम केसवानी आपका होस्ट एंड दोस्त एंड वी आर बैक विद द हाई हेल्डिंग स्टफ इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस सम फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट टेबल्स दैट विल हेल्प यू टू फेच सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मार्क्स फ्रॉम द रिपीटेड टॉपिक्स सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द लाइन दैट इफ समथिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एन एफ इवन इफ द ऑर्ड्स आर अगेंस्ट यू यू शुड स्टिल डू इट सो दिस PGC it is very important for you and i know there are many odds which you are facing right now but still still you have to work for it only dreaming for success is not enough so give you 100% and i am sure that you can achieve this PGC it of your choice this time so without wasting time i will start with the first table that is the special organ preservation in poisoning now in some poisoning we have to preserve specifically some organs which are is important for detecting that poisoning now one more thing i would like to tell you is if you find my reading or my teaching very slow you can increase the speed of the youtube and see the video in a more faster speed so as to same save your time and also to understand it so i am i will be teaching it in a it in a little slower way so that everyone can get it but if you already you can catch up with the speed so increase the speed and go through the video now the first one that is in what poisoning you need to preserve the brain as an organ so the mnemonic here is cobra just remember in cobra that if a person is bitten by cobra you have to preserve his brain so that you can see the picture of that cobra by connecting it to computer just for memorizing na so you have to learn things by imagining things so cobra bitten man you have to preserve his brain now cobra stands for carbon monoxide cyanide organic volatile opiates barbiturates alkaloids strychnine i'll repeat carbon monoxide cyanide organic volatile opiates barbiturates alkaloids and strychnine okay now spinal cord you will preserve in case of strychnine poisoning strychnine s for s strychnine poisoning spinal cord in case of alcohol you will preserve the csf fluid in case of heavy metal bone gaseous poisoning alcohol poisoning chloroform cyanide lung you have to preserve so you see for alcohol you have to preserve csf as well as the lung as well as the vitreous now for bile you have to preserve glutathione for uh, glutathione and narcotic like barbiturates cocaine methadone you have to preserve the bile for alcohol and chloroform you have to preserve vitreous so here the very important was strychnine where you have to preserve the spinal cord alcohol where you have to preserve the csf lung and vitreous brain cobra okay done we'll move to the next slide now here so what are the preservatives which you use for preserving different things in poisoning now very important the first thing the tissue in any acid poisoning now here the acid poisoning is except carbolic acid for carbolic acid we use saturated solution of common salt but for all other acid poisoning we use rectified spirit so the exception here is carbolic acid where we use the saturated solution of common salt so tissue in non acid poisons and carbolic acid we preserve it it just namak pani saturated solution of common salt now blood for poisoning as such tissue is preserved in rectified spirit except that of carbolic acid and blood is preserved in one anticoagulant that is the potassium oxalate and sodium fluoride now similar to that of tissue where the car- exception was carbolic acid in blood except for poisoning of coffee that is c for carbon monoxide o for oxalate f for fluoride ethylene oxide and ethanol now cough blood for poisoning to be preserved in this except for coffee now what to preserve 
Now blood fog in case of carbon monoxide poisoning to be preserved in liquid paraffin <coughs> so that we can avoid exposure to <coughs> oxygen and the carbon monoxide does not get oxidized. For fluoride it is preserved in sodium nitrate and sodium citrate. For oxalate and ethylene oxide it is preserved in sodium citrate and sodium fluoride. For ethyl alcohol we preserved it in sodium fluoride and potassium oxalate. Histopathology you all know 10% formalin, the 10% here is important, enzymes in liquid nitrogen, virological examination very important, it has been asked repeatedly so it is 50% of glycerin. So in this whole of the side this virological exam ex examination is important which is preserved in 50% of glycerin. Urine is again important which can be preserved in saturated solution of common salt along with rectified spirit or thymol. 1 is to 1 solution or sodium fluoride or 1 gram sodium benzoid or 5 ml concentrated hydrochloric acid solution. Now in case of alcohol intoxication the urine should be preserved in phenyl mercurous nitrate preservative for 10 ml of urine. Now this slide was important regarding the virological examination urine and tissue in acid poisoning except carbolic acid. Carbolic acid in saturated solution of common salt and all other in rectified spirit okay and carbon monoxide poisoning liquid paraffin okay now moving to another important thing that is hemodialysis is done in case of certain poisoning but it is contraindicated for poisoning in case of BDC okay so BDC was okay for your anatomy and that does not require hemodialysis so BDC is okay but does not require hemodialysis so hemodialysis is contraindicated for BDC OK, B for benzodiazepine, D for digitalis, C for copper sulfate, O for organophosphates, K for kerosene oil. Now Windmark formula is a formula, sometimes they can ask you a numerical based on Windmark formula which is a formula required for estimation of total amount of alcohol absorbed in body in grams so you solve some question based on this Weidmark formula universal antidote is activated charcoal two parts magnesium oxide one part tannic acid one part now again I want to remind you that the crisis of today is the joke of tomorrow so don't feel disheartened by whatever hard work whatever crisis you are facing right now fall seven times state stand up eight so you you should not give up at this time and with your hundred percent confidence hundred percent energy hundred percent vigor strive for the best of you okay you can do it and you will do it i know now some more two important charts which are very easy and very frequently asked and some people what they do is they they think that they know it but in the final exam they make it wrong so I don't want that silly mistake by you. So that's why I have included these two also in my slide presentation that I will go very fast and you just revise it. Huh? For arsenic the specific order is garlic, for phosphorus garlic, zinc phosphide fishy, aluminium phosphide fishy, organophosphate kerosene like or garlic like, organochloride kerosene like, opium raw flesh like smell, cyanide bitter almond important, S2S rotten egg you all know. Hemlock is mousy order, carbolic acid is phenolic smell to breath important, aconite is sweet important, aspirin is acetone smell important, chloral hydrate very important, aromatic smell. smell. Now the similar type of easy one that is the post-mortem staining you all know but some are very important like carbon, like Ames people are very fond of asking these type of things and these are easy things you, you can make it right. The thing is you need to revise it and keep it in your mind that these are easy things can also be asked and they do ask these things. Carbon monoxide is cherry red, cyanide is bright red or pink, burn is bright red, phosphorus is dark brown, nitrate is red brown, S2S is bluish green important, opium is black important, aniline is deep blue very important, asphyxia is purple or bluish white. Septic abortion is green, greenish brown very important, chlorates is more important that is the chocolate brown. So you have now learned many important tables in this section. 
आई विल बी कमिंग विद मोर एज आई एज आई गेट टाइम टिल देन ऑल ऑल दी वेरी बेस्ट एंड डू दी बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच डू लाइक एंड कमेंट एंड आई फील मोटिवेटेड बाई रीडिंग योर कमेंट्स एंड वेन एवर आई फाइंड टाइम I try to help you by making these type of things. Okay, thanks a lot. See ya.